Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Lucier from AVISBL and welcome back to the Collaboration Space. And joining me for today's discussion is Patrick Eustace, who is a senior product lead at Cisco. Hello Patrick, how are you today? I'm good, Nancy, thank you. I'm excited to be here, thank you for having me. You're welcome, thanks for joining me. And Patrick, there's been a lot of news lately that everyone's talking about coming from Cisco regarding Microsoft Teams that is really gonna make that user experience a lot better. So can you maybe share what's going on and, and the effects that will have on our meetings? Yeah, so this has been a game-changing announcement in October. Um, it, it was officially announced at Microsoft Ignite. And since then, you've probably heard of some updates from our Cisco team. So effectively, it means that we're bringing a native Microsoft Teams experience to our device portfolio for the first time. So whilst we've supported Introp with Microsoft Teams, this is a truly native experience with that product. It expands our reach to new customers, but it also brings a, a modern native experience through the Teams experience to our devices also. And I'm, I'm betting there were some big reactions to that from customers. Huge reaction. So a lot of excitement in the field. Uh, we're introducing the, the Teams native experience along with continuing to offer a native uh, WebEx experience on the same device at the same time. So there's a lot of excitement. To, it's a game-changing um, announcement in the field and no other product can offer what we've just brought to the, brought to the market. Wonderful. And so what is changing with the experience with this, with this Microsoft Teams functionality? What do you think is going to be different? Sure. So user. let me pull up a let me pull up a slide here mm -hmm. for you, and maybe it, it kind of shows at a very high level what we're introducing. So effectively, a core to our offering is consumer choice. We want to make sure that our end users have the best possible experience. So as always, we're continuing to offer a native Room OS experience. This is a um, a, a Cisco experience to our end users, as our users will be familiar with already. We've recently launched Room OS eleven, which is a new UI update with a, a new modern feel, look and feel. On that, we will continue to have our Introp story, allowing for users to connect into any platform of their choice. And then on the right-hand side is a new configuration for our devices, where a device can be configured as a native Teams uh, device. Now, even, if, even though it's a native Teams device, we will still offer a native WebEx meeting experience on that device. So if you're trying to join a, a WebEx uh, meeting at any point in time, you will still be able to leverage the, the true um, modern experience of a WebEx meeting, whilst also having a native Teams experience on that device. So, Under the hood then, we're continuing to off power all this through Room, Room OS. And with that, then we still have intelligence in the device, which we'll probably touch on throughout this conversation. Okay, and you know, tell me a little bit more about what it means when it's a native device. You know, why, why is that a benefit? Yes, so essentially if a user is familiar and is, an organization is using Microsoft Teams, there's a different look UI look and feel to the, the app on their phone or their, the app on their device. When they're moving into a room, into a room meeting or into a desk, into a desk hot desking situation, the device set up in, uh, as a native Teams experience will give them the same experience that they would have on their mobile, on their laptop, um, and bring the same UI configurations to, to the device. So as a user enters a room and wants to join a Teams meeting from a Cisco device, it's simply a case of joining that meeting with a one button to push join experience. So continuing the user experience all the way through from a laptop, from a mobile into a room meeting is essential to the user experience we want to provide to our end users. Yeah, I think consistency is key and it sounds like this is really gonna make that happen. Absolutely. So we wanna make sure that users are familiar with the design, the look and feel of our products. And we've done that already on Room OS with our WebEx experience and our Cisco experience. And we're bringing that continu continuity to our Teams experience with our native uh, integrations. So I know a lot of people use WebEx, a lot of use uh, Teams, and a lot use both. But there's mm. also a lot of other meeting platforms out there. So can you talk to me about you know, interoperability with, with all the other platforms that are out there as well? Sure. So we have run a number of studies and surveys um, over the last year. And any time we're in front of our customers and partners in webinars, we try to run some slider polls. And we try to understand how many meeting platforms are in use within your organization. And the magic figure of 85% continuously comes to the top. And that means that 85% of organizations are using two or more meeting platforms in their organization. And that may be because they're, they're meeting with partners externally and those partners are on a third party platform, or maybe simply because they've given freedom of choice to their end users within a particular organization. So that means that when users walk into a meeting room, they could be joining a WebEx meeting, a Teams meeting, a Google meeting, a Zoom meeting, or even a third party meeting beyond that. 
So we want to make sure that those users just get to, the, get to their work and get their work done as quickly as possible. So what we've done on the left-hand side here in particular in our Room OS experiences, we have a market-leading interrupt story. And that means that you can connect into Microsoft Teams to a CVI or what we call VIMT solution. That's a video integration for Microsoft Teams. Um, you can connect into Google or you can connect, connect into Zoom and have that experience on a device even as it runs a native Room OS experience. It will obviously give you the best experience running um, WebEx meetings. And then on the right-hand side then, even in an MTR solution, you can still connect in and have a native WebEx experience whilst also connecting in to uh, Zoom to direct guest join in an MTR mode. So we want to make sure that when users walk into that room, as I say, they're simply pressing that join button and they're nearly oblivious to the meeting that's happening behind it. They just want to get to their work and get to the work done, done as quickly as possible. And that's what we want, right? We want everything to run in the background. Everybody needs to press a single button. So that sounds great. This is all, this is all about simplifying the user experience and getting people to their meeting as efficiently, as quickly as, po as possible and increasing productivity levels within organizations. Wonderful. And so, okay, uh, I've got everybody connected, no matter what platform I'm using, I'm having a great experience that I'm connected. But how does Cisco help make that even a richer experience? What, what's, what are some of the features of, of Cisco that you can talk about that really change this experience, no matter what platform we're in? Yep. Yeah. So our, our market-leading Cisco collaboration devices have a number of intelligent features built into the products. So we have intelligence in our camera, in our framing, we have intelligence in our microphones, we have intelligence in our platforms. So from a camera perspective, we have framing on our devices and framing will work regardless of what platform you join into. And that means that if I'm joining into a meeting room where there are multiple people in the room, the camera will detect faces in the room and provide a, a clear a kind of abrupt picture of those individuals in the room, making me feel more inclusive. From an audio perspective, you may have seen some demos from our team in terms of a lawnmower or a hairdryer in the background, our audio intelligence in the device will reduce that noise, ensuring that you just hear me and not the hairdryer in the background. Mm -hmm. And then from a platform perspective, we have a number of sensors built into our product, which will ensure that from an admin and a workplace intelligence perspective, you're ensuring that the environment is as safe as possible for individuals to come back into an office, the humidity is the right level, the temperature is the right level, the CO2 levels are correct. All that intelligence ensures that an end user has the best possible experience, whilst the organization can ensure that their workspaces are utilized as best as possible. All increasing this hybrid work mode and ensuring that individuals can excel. Yeah, and, and I like how you mentioned how the audio is an important part. We've all been in those meetings where, you know, somebody's saying really something really important, we're all engaged, and then there's a doorbell ringing or a doorbell ringing going off or a garbage truck coming by. So it sounds like that framing and really zoning in on the speaker will be really helpful as well, as you said, to maintain that productivity. Absolutely. And this is the, the new world we live in. It's, it's uh, the real world we live in, in terms of hybrid work. We all have an element of people working from home. We, we have, again, run service where we realized that nearly 98% of our meetings will have at least one remote att attendee. So we need to ensure that that remote attendee it feels as inclusive in the meeting as and as included in the meeting as those individuals who sit around the table within a meeting room. Yeah. And hybrid work will continue. It's here to stay. It's, you know, the new normal. I know we've used that phrase over and over over the last years. It is normal now. It's not new. It's normal. It is, and it's not going away, and I'm okay with it. I'm in the office today, but I work from home a couple of days a week, and I, I know I like avoiding that commute a few days a week, but I, I do also like coming into the office and interacting with everybody. Absolutely, yeah. And, and you yeah. mentioned that in-office experience as well, where, it, you know, we work from home for so long where I pressed a button to join any meeting, and now you're bringing that same experience to the meeting room, where I don't have to mess with different setups or anything to join whatever meeting I want to join. Like you said, it's, it's one touch to join, and I think that's really important. Exactly. And I'm just going to share one more slide just in mm -hmm. terms of the portfolio that we're certifying for MTR experience. And all the way from left to right, the Room Kit, the Board Pro, and the Room Bar, along with the Room Kit EQ, we're actually addressing all use cases in terms of meeting size rooms with this new solution, whether it be a huddle space, all the way up to a boardroom meeting, all the way to an ideation room with your Scrum team or engineering team. On the right hand side, then we're solving for desks, um, the desk space, whether it be at home or hot desking in the office or an office within an office room within an office building. And on the right hand side, then our room navigator with uh, Microsoft Teams panel display, ensuring that I can tell whether a meeting room has been booked, 
or actually ad hoc book a meeting room if I'm passing by. So our solution that we're announcing with Microsoft ensures that you have the full spectrum of support all the way from that huddle space through to the home office and all the way up to the, the board boardroom meeting. And again, going back to consistency, which is great. And I'm assuming that all these devices that you're mentioning have that same AI uh, functionality with the speaker view and everything. So that keeps that consistent as well. Exactly. I, what, again, whether you're at home, uh, I have, I'm standing in front of my desk pro today. I have that capability in my device. If I walk into the office and I start using a board pro, I'll have the same experience. And as always under the hood, we're continuing to run room OS 11. And that really is the power delivering the power that all this is, is driven by. So we actually still have access to our device settings, even when MTR mode. So I can change the volume, I can turn on nice suppression, I can change my camera angle and so on. So that's the familiarity that we've had with Room OS 11 being delivered in the last number of weeks. But again, that, that continuity all the way from working in office, as you say, you go into the office every now and again, you would have that experience with your board pro or room bar in a huddle room. When you go home to your home office, you would have that same experience, whether it be in Room OS mode or in MTR mode. Wonderful. Well, all good news for Cisco and Microsoft Teams users and users of any other platform. Patrick, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you spending this time. Thank you very much, Nancy. It's great to be here and thank you for giving me this time. You're very welcome. And to our listeners, thanks to you as well for joining us again. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at AVI SPL Info. And if you want to listen to the audio version of this podcast, just search for The Collaboration Space on your favorite podcast app. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. For more information, visit abispl.com slash Cisco.